Hello everyone, this is Scott C. Wearing of UFOSightingsDaily.com. I have a very interesting face over here I want to show to you. Uh, it's right over here and it has a third eye on it. Uh, you notice that there's one, the center eye in the forehead, uh, a nose, eye, and eye. Right here you see there's a big, large, open mouth. And it's disshaped a little bit because this is the dead remains, okay, the dead remains. This is the actual skull of the alien uh, screaming uh, in, doesn't look like pain, it looks like he's more angry. Uh, he has a balding head and this long ear-like object on the side. Over here, I noticed that there was a, a shield, a, a, looks like an armored shield uh, that may have been dropped by this person as they died. Now, how, do, how does something like this live or how does this exist on Mars for so long after its death? Well, we have two strands of DNA, and two strands of DNA are very weak, and they are very biodegradable. But imagine an alien, an advanced species, with, say, ten strands of DNA. This is not so biodegradable. This is going to be very, very powerful, very strong, and uh, very similar to something with strength of uh, Kevlar. So it's going to be very, very powerful. It's not going to just break down. Uh, so uh, this face here, if you notice, has a lot of similarities to the fifth element face, the face of the alien in the fifth element. Okay, this is the alien right here. You see him in different scenes and such. Um, and it does have a lot of similarities to him. This one has his mouth closed, so it's harder to see it. Uh, this one has more of a side view, so it's a little bit better. So let's let's compare. Whoops, not that one. Sorry. Let's compare, and you'll you'll see there is a lot of similarities here. They are very similar. They have this long protruding ear object right here, and <coughs> the eyes. They don't have the center uh, eye right here, however. Uh, but the eyes look the same. The nose area. This one's more visible. This one's just more large. And the mouth looks pretty similar, but closed. Uh, you do see an open one, open mouth over here, which is very, very similar to it. However, you don't see the teeth in here. So, uh, I thought this had a lot of similarities to the Fifth Element movie. So perhaps some of the directors or creators of these movies are actually uh, using inside information about what some alien species do look like. Uh, perhaps they're trying to leak it out little by little so in the future when we actually meet them we won't be so startled to say hey we saw him on a <laughs> TV show or something uh, so here is the original and the face is right here uh, this face this face is right over here in this area you see it right there and I did enlarge it so you can see it. <coughs> excuse me and there's another photo here and this one does have some other things in it and uh, this one does have the face again. has this face over here in a different side. Uh, so it's more than one just one photo. It's a, a couple. So let's look at the first photo first. Um, this is the first one. It, it's kind of cool. And it's really large. So look across. And the face is right over here at the edge of the photo. So we'll go over there. And you can see it really well make it larger for you okay that's pretty large and um, it, it's incredible detail it has incredible detail it really does uh, this one is from the other photo and it's still it's the same same face different angle in the photo kinda cool there are some other things in this photo which might be interesting to some of you uh, this looks like an eye nose mouth face looking up into the sky um, and uh, it looks like there might be some other faces and objects around um, this is very smooth and round over here and also there's something on the ground right over here okay let me see if I can enlarge that a little bit whatever it is it looks like it's rusty and reddish and uh, has three ribs on it so it doesn't seem to belong in this area of other things. Uh, it looks like there's a bucket or something right here. Let's see if we can enlarge that. 
can't see it well, whatever it is, is on its side like a bottle. Uh, there are some other things in this photo, uh, but uh, really uh, the one I really wanted to show you were uh, the, the face on the side. And um, here's another one, open mouth, nose, eye, eyes on the other side, and this hat. Do you see this hat? This hat design right here, let me circle just the hat. This hat design right here, goes right here and over, is very similar to a lot of ancient Mayan and ancient Aztec hats seen in carvings, wall carvings, and sculptures. Uh, which is really bizarre. And here's another one, uh, face. And here's a face right here, and this, the rest of it is like a hat or a skull. I, don't, I have no idea. Uh, but you can see there's an eye, eye, nose, and a mouth right there, and a chin right here. So let me just, just the face only. That's just the face. The rest of it is like the back of the side of the skull. Uh, this thing is just one big ass head. Uh, so, and over here on the side, you see the, the face. Now let's go to the second photo, which has a little bit less. I don't see that high detailed face in it at all. Uh, but there is some others in here, some other faces which are unusual, I've never seen before. Uh, this looks like, um, have you ever seen Land of Lost, the first series, not the, not the current one. Uh, this looks like the Slee Stack aliens, if you see, remember the Slee Stacks. Um, it has this point in the back of the head, rounded point, comes down and uh, a face mostly smooth, eye, kind of a lizard-like animal, and uh, a, a mouth, a little bit of a nose, and the neck. This is the neck, this part down here, as you can see. Now, I don't know if you remember the sleeve stack at all. Um, I will try to look for that real fast. Let's do sleeve stack. Land of the Lost. Boy, I misspelled that, didn't I? Slee stack. Okay, there you are. Uh, that's kind of the Slee stack uh, alien from the original series, Land of the Lost, and or maybe this is from the movie. It's hard to tell. Um, there's so many different redones of these things, uh, but uh, pretty amazing, isn't it? Uh, the Slee stacks. Anyway, this looks like one of them, and there seems to be another one here. This is a face here mouth, nose, eye, eye. This is a big eye, big nose, big long grin. Boy, he's happy. Um, <clears throat> these just look like regular sculptures or something. I have the slightest clue of those. I'm just pointing out things I see. And uh, a lot of stuff I'm seeing, I'm not even pointing out because I don't want to waste your time. So let's go to the third photo. There's three. And the third photo is right here. Let's get rid of that sleeve stack thing third photo is right here and as you see whoops sorry I kind of lost everything right there as you see uh, there is the face the original face in here uh, let me make it larger and show you where the original face is it's right over here in the far left corner far left side I mean and you do see the shield here next to it and you see a lot of other, other things in here like this whichever it is whatever it is doesn't belong uh, this big open object. Uh, I have no clue what it is. Um, there are a lot of interesting things in this photo I just cannot identify. And um, is this, are there many faces on this structure or are these just uh, coincidences? Uh, perhaps. But this is no coincidence right here. This is absolutely amazing. What is this? Have you, can you see this guys? This is different. This is um, it looks like something curled up in a ball and a leg right here. Like a leg of a person curled up in a ball. Uh, that looks really unusual to me. Uh, let's see if I can focus that a little bit. Nope, cannot autofocus it. Let's bring in some darkness. Can't do that either. Doesn't really help. So I'll just leave it original. Anyway, uh, mostly this is untouched, except I did enlarge it and circle a few items in it. Um, there are quite a few things in here, but the, one of the things I didn't talk about much is the thing on the bottom. There is a, at the bottom of this photo, there is an object that is uh, bizarre. It's, it's really strange. It, it's at the bottom of the photo. Uh, let me see if I can get that. can't quite.
I get that? Can I crop? Can't crop it. Uh, edit. Undo. Sorry. I was trying to show you uh, that there is an object in here, but let me try to um, show you the original. This is right here. Okay. Uh, there are three photos, and I'll leave the URLs in the link. Can you see this object right down here? It's this. So I'm going to cut this out, uh, and I will uh, try to make it so you can see it a little bit better. Well, I guess I don't have to cut it out, just lift it up. Okay, adjust size. Yeah, big. Let's make it big. Here we are. Um, there are two objects in here next to each other. Uh, one is this mailbox-like object. See the the rope round rounded area here. Two rounded edges that are made together, and some other things in here. But there's also a zigzag line right here that doesn't seem to be natural at all. Uh, let me make that a little smaller so maybe it will come into focus a little bit more. You enlarge things and you really mess them up. So uh, that's one of the amazing things here. And there are a lot of others, like I said. Uh, if you're interested in these kind of things, please uh, like and subscribe to me. And um, I will get back to you with the newest videos I can.